Uh, well, we don't go in for that kind of stuff at the Herald. Um, you can't hack anyone's phone around here because no one can get any signal. <laughs> so, um, but we don't, we don't get a lot of respect um, as journalists. Uh, I would say on the trust scale, um, a journalist sits somewhere between meth dealer and, I don't know, estate agent. <laughs> I do actually work with a girl um, in the in the newsroom. We used to be an estate agent, so she's uh, she's climbing the ladder a little bit at a time. <laughs> Bless her. Give her a few years, she'll be uh, living in Albuquerque and um, dissolving her friends in bathtubs in acid. That sort of thing. Uh, so I've recently become a dad. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, it would have been nice to have some of you in the delivery room with me, if, if slightly weird. <laughs> we can see the hedge! Yeah! <laughs> would have been a bit strange. Um, but yeah, I've become a dad um, about nine months ago now. Uh, I know what some of you are thinking, and yes, I am old enough. <laughs> I know I look like a 12-year-old who's just stumbled out of a Sunday morning youth club, but... Uh, I'm actually 30, I'm a, I'm a proper grown-up now. Um, but I am constantly reminded by how, how young I look. Um, I know I look about 12 years old because I went into a, a supermarket the day after my son was born, wanted to buy a beer, have a little celebration, you know, and got asked for ID. Which was, uh, it was quite a surreal moment because it was like the universe was giving me two different messages at the same time. On one shoulder, someone was saying, there you go, you're now a parent. You're responsible for a whole new person coming into the world. Completely dependent on you. This is the most important thing you'll ever do. And on the other shoulder, there's someone saying, but we still don't quite trust you enough to drink a can of beer. <laughs> so that was very strange. Uh, so my son is about, um, is about nine months old now, and uh, he's kind of at that stage where he's, he's feeling a lot of emotion, but he's not quite sure how to express it. He's, uh, he, one minute he's, he's happy as you like, laughing, rolling around on the floor, loving life, and the next minute he's screaming his head off, you know, he's, he's full of anger, he's full of pain, he's, he's looking around to check everyone's watching him. He's basically Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> and that's a nice short set, I think that's everything I've got time for, so thank you very much for listening. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam! 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 My friend, this is a baptism of fire. My first gig was in a little room in Bristol with 17 people in an Alsatian. You have stepped foot in the Athenaeum in front of 330 people, and you have had a better gig than I had at my first night, so fuck you. Everything